What's up, guys? I hope you're all well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm actually really happy. I haven't been this happy in a long time. Life is going very well for me. I hope you guys are having a great uh, early entry into 2023. Uh, today, we are checking out Mitchell and Webb, There Is No God. Uh, kind of an interesting way to introduce that, but uh, eh, let's get into it. <laughs> Helen, Slurping. get in here. Oh my. Finally, after all these years of doubt, proof. <laughs> Atheists from around the world are converging here and queuing for hours just for a glimpse of the miraculous fruit section. Let's see if we can talk to one of them. Here comes Webb. Can you tell us what you've seen? Oh. What can I say? My, my faith's been completely destroyed. Oh, right. So you were a believer. Oh, yeah. I've got this tomato. You can just see the initials, JC. Oh, it looks like there's a B there as well. It says JCB. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that doesn't matter now, does it? This melon blows my tomato out of the water. I mean, it's a full sentence. There's punctuation and everything. No, that's, that's good enough for me. Like the fruit says, there is no God. So what will you do now? Uh... Call a prostitute, I suppose. <laughs> and joining us now is Reverend Stephen Murray. So, Reverend, what's the church's take on this? Is God done for? No, obviously there is a God and he's fine. This is just typical silly atheists getting carried away. They look at a random pattern in a piece of fruit and think they found some message in it. So, it's meaningless. Absolutely. There are a million atheists who've cut open pieces of fruit today and found no such message. Just the tasty flesh and seeds that God put there for them to enjoy. <laughs> this particular atheist happens to have found a piece of fruit that happens to resemble writing and he's projected his own meaning onto it. It's ridiculous. I mean, you could equally say, look at all the horrible suffering in the world and say that that proves that there's no God. Well, that's a good point. So, how do you explain the message? Well, it's probably just some random mutation in the watermelon's genetics. Oh, no, wait, not that. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh my God. That was so funny. That was so, so, so good. That's so, yeah. I like how uh, <clears throat> David Mitchell always plays like a vicar, like you see down there in the corner. He plays a priest, a, a, a holy man. And it does a hell of a good job with it. And it's always Webb. It's like, eh, the doubter. Whatever. Um, I enjoyed this. I thought this was, uh, very, very funny. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I look forward to the next Mitchell Webb and a battle week. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.